the only solution Obsidian itself has to manage your to-dos are checkboxes. But don't worry, <laughs> this is the perfect situation to show you how to install and use plugins. Yes, there is a tasks plugin. But let's start with the checkboxes. Okay, minus, space, open the bracket, space, close the bracket, and now we have a new to do. If you hit enter, you have another one, another one, and so on. Two enters will create a new line. New line, line of text, or whatever you want to type here. Of course, you can mark them as complete, and you can copy or move them around. Let's say copy this and paste it here. Or I can select it and delete it. But here's a tip to type less. Okay, if we go to the settings inside the editor tab and look for behavior auto pair brackets. I'm gonna turn this on and now let's go back to our note. Now if I open a bracket, the system will create another one, so all I have to do is add the space in between them. Okay, let's take a look at the tasks plugin, but please keep in mind that this is a very powerful plugin. I could be talking about it for hours here today, and that's why my plan for this video is to show you how to install it and what are its basic features. But don't worry, I'll be talking about this plugin in many other future videos. If this is the first time you are installing a community plugin on Obsidian, you have to first turn them on. So let's go to settings and then community plugin and finally turn on. Take a look at this. There are so many plugins. So let's look for the tasks plugin, install it, and enable it. That's it. All your plugins will be down here, and you can manage them, you can favorite them, and even uninstall them from here. Let's go back to Obsidian. Better, let's first take a look at the Tasks plugin website. And by the way, this website was built using Obsidian Publish. More on that in the future. Okay, as you can see here, there is a lot of information, installation, getting started. Everything I learned, I learned from here, and you'll find the link in the description below. Let's go back to Obsidian and create our first task. The nice thing here is that the task is kind of connected to the checkboxes, so all we have to do is create a checkbox and look what just happened. This is much better. If I don't want any of these features, all I have to do is hit enter and this menu is gone and I have a checkbox. There are many options here and I encourage you to have fun with them. Uh, I'm gonna show you the due date. As you can see here, there are just a few options. You can either select one of them or start typing as long as you respect year, then month, and then day, that's okay. Now we have more options, but again, I want one that is not here. So let's start typing it, recurring. This is what I want. I want it to repeat. And again, the option that I want is not in the menu. No problem. Just select every ear. And here it is. Here's one thing I don't like on this plugin, but I bet most of you will love. If I complete a recurring task, it will mark that task as completed and keep it there and then create uh, the next one on top of it. I don't like this. <laughs> I prefer the way Evernote does it. It just erases the old one. 
But again, based on all the complaints I hear from people that use tasks on Evernote, I bet this is the behavior most people love. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> now that you know how to create tasks on Obsidian, maybe you would like to see them in a single note, right? It is possible and I'll show you how. But before that, let me just make one thing clear here. The trigger to create a due date or a recurring task or whatever, any one of those uh, little configurations there is the emoji. So you have to add the calendar emoji before writing the date. Do the same for the other uh, settings. Okay, let's take a look at how to see all your tasks in the same place. If we go back to the tasks user guide and under queries go to examples, you'll find a lot of interesting possibilities here. But don't be afraid of this, it's much easier than it looks. The important thing here is that you have to start with three back quotes, the word tasks, and end with three back quotes. Let's start with this one, not done. Let's go back to Obsidian and let's create a new node here. All my, ta all my tasks. Three back quotes, tasks, not done. Three back quotes. And voila, <laughs> it's easy as that. If we go back here, uh, to the other notes, you can see that I have many tasks in all the notes and they are all here. We have 12 tasks, we can mark them as completed from here or we can go to that note. And there are many other settings that you can use. So let's go back to the user guide. Did you notice that these options are almost plain English? Let's try something I don't see here. Let's go back to Obsidian to edit this. All you have to do is hover your mouse and click here. So not done. Let's try with due date. Oops, no. What about has due date? Nope. <laughs> what about has due date? And there it is. If you use that guide and in your intuition, I'm sure you'll be able to create many different widgets. There are many other things that we can do with this plugin and for sure there will be many other videos about it. So if you wanna learn more about the plugin, more about Obsidian and have fun with all the other things I share here on the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you soon.